What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So um, in today's video I wanted to talk about the reason why I reverse the faces in my SketchUp models. And before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I put together to give a more in-depth training in SketchUp. So uh, we cover everything from an introduction to the basic tools in SketchUp all the way to more in-depth training for things like SketchUp for interior design modeling, SketchUp for layout and an introduction to photorealistic rendering. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to get some more in-depth SketchUp training, make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one other thing I wanted to note um, before we get started is this is actually my 400th video on YouTube. So I'm really excited. Um, I really appreciate you guys uh, checking out the videos and uh, all your questions and all the fun interactions we get to have about SketchUp. I'm really excited about creating a lot more videos, but thank you so so much for all the support over the course of this channel. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is I wanted to talk about, I've gotten the question a bunch lately, why do I reverse the faces in my model? Uh, why does it matter? And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a video where we talked about that a little bit. And uh, so to start off a little background, SketchUp faces have a front side and a back side. So if I was to take a look, for example, at this face right here, you can see how I have a front side and a back side. Um, that show up when I select the face. So if I was to navigate around, you can see how this is colored differently on one side than it is on the other. And so that's important for a few different reasons. But like, let's say for example, that I was to apply this gold color to this back side of this object. You can see how the front side stays the white default color while the back side is painted this gold color. So it's possible to paint faces two different colors on the front side and the back side. And you can see what's applied to each side by selecting that face and looking in your entity info. And so a lot of you have noticed that when I'm going through and I'm modeling, a lot of the time when I create objects, I go through and I right click and I reverse the faces so that the white color is facing towards the camera. And I've gotten the question of why I do that. And so, first of all, it's just a good habit to be in to keep your model kind of organized the way that it needs to be. But secondly, um, this really affects performance in a couple different areas. So the first is if you're going to render different objects. So um, SketchUp is kind of funny in the way that it handles faces because it's a face modeler, not a solid modeler. And what that means is really these objects, even though they look like... Um, cubes or 3D squares to us, the way that SketchUp treats these is just each one of these is an individual face. So everything in here is made up of an individual face. So it doesn't consider these a solid, at least in the raw form that they're in right now. And so some external programs like rendering programs treat things a little bit differently as do um, some different export formats that you do for like 3D printing. But like, let's say for example, let's get into an example. So let's say that I apply a brick material to both of these different objects. So this is a V-Ray brick material. And so you can see how if, at first glance, these look exactly the same. However, if I was to go in and render these in V-Ray, if you look at these, you're gonna notice that they're gonna look significantly different. So the one on the left and the one on the right look different in my rendering. And the reason for that is because in a lot of rendering programs, what happens is you get what's called a bump map applied to your object and so a bump map is directional. And so basically what the bump map does is it makes this face look rougher because really flat textures don't look very realistic. And so what that does is based on this texture, this applies a bump map. And you can see how in this case, this makes it, and this is kind of low, lower resolution, it's a smaller image, but it makes it look like um, you've got a little bit of depth on your bricks as opposed to the joints. While on the other hand, on this other one, it's applying that same bump map, but because it's facing away from the camera, so because these are face or backsides of faces, it's actually applying that bump map in reverse. So it's making everything bump out in the other direction. And so what that means in this case is it means that this face isn't as realistic because it's pointing the wrong way. And so an easy way to fix that is to go in and reverse these faces. And so let's say I was to come in here 
and I was to just select all these faces by triple clicking and I was to reverse the faces and then do the same thing where I apply this brick material. If you look at this, now both of these look the same and you can see how this brick face looks a lot more realistic than it did before. So that's one reason to have your front side faces facing your camera is for when you're rendering materials. Um, and without getting too in depth into my rendering, some other things in renderings can be directional as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply what's known as an emitter material to each one of these faces. And an emitter material is basically just a material that emits light. Well, what you're gonna see when I run this rendering is for this object on the left where my front side face is facing the camera, this is emitting in this direction. However, on the other object, even though I applied this to the back side of my object, it's emitting in the other direction. And there are some settings you can change in order to ignore this, but generally speaking, if I'm always having the front side of my faces facing my camera, then I know how everything's gonna react when I do things like this rendering. And some other programs like Unity, and uh, I think maybe Lumion, I'm not 100% sure. Some of those programs also are set by default to ignore backside faces so that they can run everything faster. So it's a performance thing. So if you're going through and you're creating a whole bunch of different objects in here, um, and you're just kind of haphazardly having the front side of faces face your camera, then when you get them into another program to render them or something like that, then you're gonna run into some issues. And then another thing that's important is if you're exporting for like 3D printing, a lot of those formats like STL, the direction of your faces is really important because it's basically gonna tell your 3D printer what side is the front and what side is the back. And so if you don't have the front side of your faces facing out, and the backside facing in, then you're gonna get errors when you're 3D printing things. And so that's kind of a general overview of why we reverse faces. Now let's talk about a couple different things you can do in order to quickly get the faces to face your camera. So what I have here is I just have a couple um, spherical-ish uh, low polygon objects, and you can see how I've got a series of faces facing out and I've got a series of faces facing in. Well, in this case, it would be ideal for all of these faces to be white and be facing the camera. And so the first thing you could do is if you came in here and just right clicked on one of these faces and clicked reverse faces, you could come in here and you could do all of these manually. So if you wanted to, you could fly around this whole object and just say reverse face, reverse face, you could even do a shift click and select multiple different faces at once. And then right click on those and say reverse faces. And you can see how that allows you to get the correct faces facing out. And if you don't have a whole lot of faces to adjust, then you can definitely do that. That's a great option. That's definitely the easiest option. Well, in this case though, let's say that we wanted to do all of that with a single click. Well, what we would do is instead of going through and selecting these individually, what you could do is you could right click on one of the faces that's facing the correct direction, and you could click on the option for orient faces. And when you click on the option for orient faces, you can see what that does is that takes the orientation of this face, and then within all the other faces in this object, it uses those, or it uses this face to figure out what direction is the right direction, and you can see how now all of those faces are oriented properly. So the third tip I wanna talk about is making these more visible. So sometimes in your SketchUp model, a lot of people, especially with the shading and that kind of thing, have a little bit of trouble seeing which faces are front side and which faces are back side. And also, right now, you can't really tell in these objects that have um, textures applied to them which side is the front and which side is the back. What you can do is you can create a style that makes it a lot easier to see where your back side or where your back facing faces are. And so to do this, you're just gonna go into the styles section of your tray and you can either create a new style or you can adjust an existing style. So in this case, I'm just gonna click the plus button to create a new style. And you can go into the edit tab 
and you're gonna do two things so the first is you're gonna go in your face settings and you're gonna set this to display shaded using all same and so what that means is this is no longer in this style gonna display your textures it's just gonna display these shaded with either your front side or your back side so now you can already tell that I can look in here and see which faces are facing the proper direction and which ones aren't but then if you really want to make these stand out what you can do is you can go into your face settings you can go to your back color and you can drag this little slider over and click OK and you can make it so all the backside faces are red. And so now you can tell by looking at this where your backside or back facing faces are really quickly and really easily. So you can see how there's a couple in my default model even that haven't been fixed. So you can use this to spot those and fix those really quickly. And then my final tip is you can also use the extension Solid Inspector. And generally speaking, you're only gonna use this extension for this if you're 3D printing or if you're trying to work with solid models. But what Solid Inspector will do is as a part of the solid inspection process, if I was to click and run Solid Inspector, this is actually gonna go through and find all of my reversed faces. And the reason that works is because Solid Inspector is designed to set things up for 3D printing and for making them proper solids. And so you can see how this went in here in this object that I had selected and it found all the reversed faces and it highlighted them. And so now if I was to go in and I was to click the fix button, this would fix all of those faces for me. So if you're using solids and you're prepping for 3D printing, this is a great extension and a great option. So in general, if you're not planning on exporting to a rendering program or exporting for 3D printing or doing anything outside of just flying around in a SketchUp model, setting up your faces may not be as big of a deal, but it's definitely something, it's just a part of keeping your model organized that you really ought to do just to make it kind of a habit. That way, if you ever wanna do anything like that with your models, you can do that without having to go back and do a whole bunch of rework. So that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did I explain this well enough? Do you kind of understand understand why now um, having the front side of faces facing your camera is important. I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.